And police have just released surveillance footage of a man wanted in connection with the sexual assault of two women. He allegedly attacked the woman after they stepped off a bus in northeast Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden is at the Philadelphia Police Special Victims Unit with the latest on these cases. Joe. Natasha, both of these teenagers were riding on the Route 14 bus. Tonight, there is alarm in Oxford Circle after both teenagers, police say, were raped. Philadelphia police tonight are desperate to track down a sexual predator. And just in, new surveillance footage just released, playing on your screen. Detectives hope it leads them in the right direction. Victims are both teenagers, 16 and 18. They're both high school students. They both were returning home from work when I got off the bus. He is a bus stop rapist who detectives say has shown himself to be very comfortable in the area of Bustleton and the Boulevard. So a guy is, is preying on women basically who... In this area? Right here. Wow, um, th there's a lot of traffic here. About the traffic, detectives say it doesn't seem to matter. He follows his victims, they say, and waits until he's in an area where he is comfortable. Police say in the first case from last Tuesday, the 18 year old woman got off the bus at Levick and Bustleton. She walked west for more than a half a dozen blocks. Detectives say her attacker was following the entire time. He then put her in a chokehold and pulled her into a driveway near Loretto Avenue. In the second case from Sunday night, police say the victim got off the bus and headed just a few blocks down the boulevard where she was raped. She was told not to make a noise. He tells these women not to make a noise mm -hmm. and then assaults them. Wow, I can't even believe that. I'm in shock, like I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. Now, Clive, and in both cases, the attacker took both women's cell phones. Right now, though, police are focused on that surveillance video they released just an hour ago. We have it up for you at CBSPhilly.com. And I checked in with a spokesman for the department a short time ago. Detectives anxiously awaiting to receive tips on who that man could be. We're live outside SVU. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you so much.